Well, Steve, there's been the international break. And firstly, for you, how have you found that? Yeah, I think it's um, every international break comes with its pros and cons. Um, we've had to have a kind of real look at ourselves as a, as a team, as a group after this, after the disappointing kind of run of results and kind of kick on as a group and improve on um, what we need to and, and, and turn these uh, our fortunes around. In terms of as a group, how is the, the international break used well for those players that aren't away on international duty in order to recruit? Yeah, it's more so the lads that kind of haven't been playing as much, um, kind of get the, the fitness and the lads that have been playing to kind of try and improve and push ourselves fitness-wise and as a, as a as a collective as well, working on different things. So, yeah, I think um, it's a timely um, intervention for us, I think, this, this time. And um, from from what I've seen on, on the training pitch, the lads are really desperate to kind of put things right and, and, and turn this kind of bad run of form um, into wins. And it has been frustrating because we had a good run of performances and, and getting a couple of results as well. And then it's just really the, the last three results where it, it has been disappointing. Yeah, definitely. Um, at, at one point, you know, we was going in the right direction and um, looking strong, looking solid and um, looked like the fortunes were changing. But look, the, the results, the last three results are, uh, are not great. Um, the, the home form that we're currently in is, is, is not acceptable at, at any level, really. So we, we, we're kind of desperate to, to turn our fortunes around by winning games, kind of giving the fans something to, to support. Um, it's uh, kind of... We get the frustration of, of, of the fans because they, they pay good money to come and watch um, their team and the team to perform at home and, and win games of football. And it's, it's quite frank that we, we haven't been doing that not, not enough wins at home not enough wins in in general so um we're well aware of that we're well aware that what needs to change um how how we do that uh, work rate and demand demand set on on each individual <clears throat> um and the togetherness of the club um that i sat and watched uh, the the blackburn game and the the frustrations that came um, after we're, we're only natural and but this is a, a, a time now where we can we still got a lot of football to be played a lot of games coming uh, thick and fast and a period where we feel that we can turn it around Is this um, where your experience really comes into play when there ha have been a difficult run of results talking about within the dressing room and some players perhaps younger players can, can feel the result more in, in a different way perhaps um, yeah, um, it's, it's new for me in, in, in terms of um, the position in the, in the league where we're at. So it's, it's extremely frustrating, frustrating off my, my, my side of things. But you're going to have periods of time in, in, in any season where results don't go for you. And then you have to lean um, on the players that have kind of gone through that and come out the other side. Um, we, we have that in this group um, you would rather there be teething problems at the start of the season than um, kind of at the end or, or midway through and um, we, we now need to kind of start backing up with, with what, what was being said at the start of the season where things will change and uh, we'll start winning but now it's kind of it has to be done um, we don't want to be left behind we don't want to be in this position where we're at it's um, it's embarrassing looking at the league at the moment and, and, and seeing that. And the lads are hurting from it. I'm hurting. I'm sure the fans and staff are. And it's it, there's a real <clears throat> sense of we, we, we this can't keep going on. So, yeah, there, there's we can look at the experienced lads in the group and, and lean on that and try and give it the experiences of, of past seasons. But now, as individuals and as a group, we have to kind of back them, them words up and, and start improving. You came off uh, at Leeds United and obviously didn't feature against Blackburn. How are you injury-wise? Um, yeah, improving. Obviously, extremely frustrating from my side of things. It's kind of been stop-start and fitness-wise, but um, 
again, this international break has been used myself to kind of um, get fitter, uh, and hopefully heal my the injury that I sustained and um, be ready for, for when I'm obviously 100% fit and, and con to contribute on the pitch. And this weekend, Huddersfield, it, it's a big game. I know we, we say all, all games are big games, all, all games are worth three points, but like you say, that the players are hurting and looking at the table, it, it's frustrating. It, it feels like a, this is an important game. Yeah, it is. Um, that a team that um, was said to be that, that could be down where we are right now. We we obviously don't see us ourselves being a relegation contender, but at the moment we're we're in amongst them positions. But um, we need to start <clears throat> putting wins on the board. Um, it's a tough place to go. Um, obviously a long journey and. Uh, on the back of a few uh, bad defeats, we, we need to respond and we need to take points off teams that potentially could be down in the, the bottom half of the league. So um, that we're going to have to respect the, the Huddersfield team and naturally, um, but we have to go up there believing that we're going to win and start changing our fortunes. And what's your message for the supporters? You've quickly forged a very good re um, relationship with them yourself and I noticed that 2-0 down against Blackburn, there was a period there where the fans really got behind the, the team trying to get them going again to, to get them back into the game. What's your message for the QPR fans who are as frustrated as, as the players are? Yeah, look, it, the last <clears throat> 18 months, I'm sure, is, is, is not where the club um, sees itself, where the fans see itself. There's obviously a sense of, of, of disappointment around um, the club right now, which is understandable because as players we haven't been performing or um, putting the results on, on, on the table and the fans pay good money, um, a lot of money to travel here, there and everywhere and at home. Um, so the frustrations are, are met with, I think now, a lot of hunger to, to prove people wrong or, or put things right. So um, we, we know how committed the fan base is here. Um, but as a group of players, we won't be able to obviously achieve uh, what we what we want without the backing of the fans. I know it's easily said, but the the hunger and the desire has to come from within within the change room here. And I'm really positive that we'll be there. And um, look, you can't win every game, but the fans want to see a group of players willing to die for the shirt and their club. And um, that's what we're trying to do here now.